Hey everybody, Ben Morse, senior editor of Marvel.com here at New York Comic Con 2015 with the one and only Dan Slott, a writer, a colorist, a Jerry Duggan cosplayer. Hey. <laughs> or is Jerry Duggan a Dan Slott cosplayer? Yes. <laughs> Who had the, well he had the beard first though. He to had be the beard fair. first, uh, yes he did, he did, he did. But yours looks great. Thank you. I'm a big fan. Big Axel fan Axel forced me to have it. Really? Yeah. What did he say? Yeah, I was working on. This is editor in chief Axel Alonso. Axel Alonso. I was working uh, on all this. You know, we are filming people. Yeah. We are filming guys, here. Guys, Dan Slot would, like, would like you to on the set, please. We're kind Thank of you. filming. All right. As you were oh, saying. I'm sorry. I was here the other day. It's like, Clark Craig is here. Shut up. Yeah. Dance lot. I'm here. It's like, me, 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 me in the background. They don't care. You deserve some They don't care. You are, a Carl, you are a Clark Gregg level star. He's got headphones <laughs> on. He doesn't know any better. So the beard, Axel, Hello. how did it all happen? Do you need a moment? All right, Dan will be back. Hello. So the beard. One day I'll be on S.H.I.E.L.D. and you will care. <laughs> I would like to see that, actually. I think you'd be great on S.H.I.E.L.D. Yes, I would be like level two. Yeah. Everyone knows what you know. You're just like running around no. like, guys, Everyone guys. knows. You're level two. You're like, guys, guys, did you hear about the Hydra stuff? Yeah, that was yeah, three yeah. years ago, Dan. Last year, last yeah. year. Oh, God, Hydra. Dude. Yeah. All no. right, so the beard. The Axel. beard. Axel. <laughs> Can we start off? <laughs> this is pre-tape. This isn't live. This isn't live. Thanks, thanks, for, thanks for pulling back the curtain. Pull yeah. back the curtain. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the beard. Axel, the be how did it all happen? Oh, <laughs> I was working on all this Spider-Man stuff, and I was running really late, so I wasn't leaving the apartment. I wasn't shaving for days. That makes and sense. And I finally came in. They're like, hey, and everything was done. And then Axel sees me, and he calls me into his office. And I'm like, what did I do? Like, Axel never called me into his office before. And he closes the door. It's like the he, principal's office. Yeah. And he closes the door, and he like, looks both ways. And I'm like, what? And he goes, keep the beard. <laughs> oh, so he's basically... A, yeah. He goes like... Was there a threat? No, no. He just went like, you have a baby face. People respect you with the beard. Keep the beard. I'm like, it's it's not a beard. I stopped shaving. He's like, it looks it good. Looks, it does look good. Yeah. So ever since then, I'm now on year three. Do you feel like Axel didn't respect you before? I don't know. I mean, that's kind of what he said. Oh no, but like we're at like one of the movie premieres, mm -hmm. and um, like I introduced my nephew to him, and it's yeah. him and his lovely wife, yeah. and we're walking away, and I can hear in the background Axel go, "You like that beard? I told him to grow that beard. <laughs> that's my beard. <laughs> I love the secret there origin of the beard. All right, Dan, coming up, beard. all new, all different Marvel. You've got not one but two titles. Two titles. We Announced one just recently. I want to talk about the the one that's already started first, and that's Amazing okay. Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man. Issue number one was out this week. It was awesome. It was huge. You it was a monster huge. It was issue. gigantic. It and was you wrote a little of it. I wrote a little of it. <laughs> no, it's like Nick Lowe and and Devin, like the editorial team. They mm -hmm. put that was a massive. We're already at eight minutes left. We're at well, eight minutes left. Well, I mean, your temper left. tantrum took like two minutes. Temper? They weren't talking. Like, and we just were try to stay, try okay. to stay focused. Try to stay focused. Stay on point. You were talking about Amazing Spider-Man. I made a bunny. You made a bunny, Ultron, <laughs> and we're all real proud of you. <laughs> you did a great job. Yay! So you're talking about Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man. Issue number one's out. Yes. A uh, whole new take on Peter Parker. Yes. Uh, where now he's... <laughs> this is so different from yesterday. They don't care. They can we, don't can we, care. John, can we get some control <laughs> over here? Sir, John Cerulli is riveted <laughs> listening to you. <laughs> This is we're not even gonna, we're, we're not gonna reshoot or anything. No, we're gonna, we're gonna go. This. this is great this stuff. Is <laughs> this is people wanna see the people behind Marvel. This is the real Dan Slot. I'm gonna break Destroying everything. stuff. All right. I made a bunny. You made a bunny. You made a bunny. You made a bunny, you grew a beard. We're talking about amazing Spider-Man. What? Oh yeah, no. It's all <laughs> It's a whole new. It's a whole new thing for Peter Parker. Mm -hmm. He's got all this wealth and power, and everyone thought yeah. we were just going to go. Peter Parker is Tony Stark, but he's not. Not he, at all. He's using all the wealth that, and all the power and resources of Parker Industries to do what Uncle Ben would have done with it. I, yeah, I love that. That was a really cool touch in the first issue. And it's when you you're going to see how that pays off, like in issue four. Yeah. Which isn't out for a while. Mm, oh, we need the, a little bit. There's and we have all these fun supporting cast members in each Parker lab. That's what all I like. Around that the, the, world. Fir the first issue was really like a tour around the world. We got to go to London. We got to go to Shanghai. We got to go to San Francisco. We're gonna see all of it. And and coming up, we're gonna see who's in the uh, Parker in Parker Industries New York. Oh, cool. And there's a surprise or two in Parker Industries New York. Nice, nice. It's, oh, we've already given away on the cover that Parker Industries New York office is the Baxter Building. Yes, which is really neat. So, spoilers. <laughs> so we could see some cool stuff there. Yeah. How does taking Peter Parker, who's always been you know perpetually down on his luck, 
and making him this successful. How does it, what I like what you said, is like he doesn't just become Tony Stark, but he does become a different character. How does it change the character? It's one of the fun things about Spider-Man is it's been 50 years. Yeah. And we've had like a good 40, 45 year run of Peter Parker looking through the couch cushions, looking for change to buy a slice of pizza or to yeah. pay the rent. We've seen it, it's enough. <laughs> not that enough. It's not enough, I'm just kidding. I'll always take more of it. But it's fun to take this everyman character and make him a fish out of water. Yeah. Put him somewhere where like, you know, Peter Parker shouldn't be there. Yeah. Spider-Man shouldn't have a cool Spider-Mobile. Yeah. It should be a doom buggy that he drives into the East River. It shouldn't be this awesome thing. So it's all about taking him and put him in uh, out of his comfort zone, but still making him Peter. Yeah. And how will Peter react? Yeah. What would you do, Ben Morris, if you had this major money? I mean, I would probably take care of my friends, like my friend Dan. You know, Aww. I would, I would, I would, I would want to take care Thank of other you. people. You know? Oh, okay. You can, that's you can, nice. You can pay me back later. That's sweet. So you've, that's not the only book you're working on. You're down, you're down in, uh, on, the, on the streets in New York, in London, in Shanghai, Shanghai in San Francisco. San Francisco, you're all around also, the world. You're also high above in the skies, but maybe coming a little down to earth with, with Silver Surfer. With Silver Surfer. Mike and I are coming back. Yep. Mike Allred and, and Laura, Laura Allred. Yep. We're, oh, we're having so much fun. We, we had all these ideas and all these things we wanted to do with Silver Surfer, and we had these super huge ideas that we wanted to pace out. You don't always right. want to have the whole universe exploding or, or Galactus showing up every other issue. So we had our like, really big story ideas mapped out as tent poles. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we realized when we come back that Silver Surfer started in March 1966. Yes, he told me this. March 1966 uh, in, Fan in Fantastic Four in the Galactus trilogy. And now it's we're coming up to March 2016. It's the 50th anniversary. Perfect. 50th anniversary of Silver better. Surfer. Yeah, so we've taken one of our biggest stories and we're just like, we're just going to explode with that first. And you told me this story the other day and I want to ask like question after question, but I don't want to give away too much. But, but seriously, it's yeah. going to... It's, it's gonna huge. It's, it's an huge. awesome story. And it's going to change Silver Surfer forever. Forever. And yeah. we, we say that all the time. We say break the internet, change forever. But no, this, this is pretty legit. This is this story is so big that it really like when you try to explain Silver Surfer to a layman who's never read Silver Surfer before, mm -hmm. you say Norn Rad of Zenla became Galactus's herald to spare his world, right. traveled around the universe to find planets for his master to eat, mm -hmm. came to Earth, saw us for our beauty and our potential, and fought us, fought his master to save us. Yeah. Stranded on Earth, then freed and seized the universe. Once you get to that point you're gonna have to mention this story for now on. Right, this change is a fundamental thing about the Silver Surfer. But by being so true to who and what the Silver Surfer is about, mm -hmm. but it's a major, major change for him that comes from the character and you can never go back after this. You can never go back after this story. This is who Silver Surfer will be. Yeah. It's very it's, exciting. Yeah, it's, oh. and the cool thing about Silver Surfer is it's no longer a, a Silver Surfer has always been the most solo of characters, and now he's got Dawn with him. It really is a two-person show. How does the story affect her? Well, we haven't said if Dawn's coming back. Oh my goodness! That first going to take her away. That first cover. Yeah. That first cover. She's it's not Dawnless. on it. It's Dawnless. It is pretty interesting. Dawnless. So you're keeping it close to the vest on that you're one. You're gonna have to wait and see if Dawn Greenwood is coming back. All right. If you could you use just one or two sentences to get people excited about the return of Silver Surfer, what would it be? Oh. Can you do anything in one or two sentences? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen no, your word balloons. But, it's <laughs> but no, it's going to be. Uh, we've been staying away from Earth. Once, once he brought back Dawn to Earth and they left for adventures mm -hmm. off into space, once they did that, they've never been back to Earth. And now we're going to see Surfer on Earth because of stuff that's going to happen. And it's going to be fun to see him interact with the Marvel Universe and do things with Earthlings. Very cool. That was more than one or two sentences, but I'm going to allow yeah. it because I like you, Dan. Amazing Spider-Man number one is out now. Silver Woo! Surfer, not till 2016, right? January. January 2016. Follow him on Twitter at Dan Slot. Dan, thank you for coming by, oh, and thank you man. for thank you for putting up with these cool no, games. I'm these really sorry. Heads. I'm really no. sorry, I guys. Love you. Keep I love watching you. Marvel Live here at New York Comic Con 2015. More great stuff coming your way. Marvel, your universe. Oh, and